Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to start very important group of hormones. They are called adrenocortical hormones. Uh, first of all, what is uh, adrenal gland? Uh, adrenal gland, uh, we have two adrenal glands which are located in the superior fold of the kidney. And um, uh, adrenal gland has got the two parts. The inner part is the adrenal medulla, as you can see in the diagram. And the outer part is the adrenal cortex. Uh, adrenal medulla, it secrete catecholamines, uh, which are epinephrine and norepinephrine. And they are functionally related with the sympathetic nervous system. This is the adrenal glands, which are present on the two superior poles of the kidney. And the inner portion is the adrenal medulla and the outer portion is the adrenal cortex. Then adrenal cortex, uh, they secrete uh, these hormones, which are uh, mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids, and androgenic hormones. Uh, mineralocorticoids, uh, they affect mainly the minerals of the ECF, sodium and potassium. And glucocorticoids, they are named so because they affect the metabolism of glucose. This is the cross-section of the adrenal cortex and we will see uh, the adrenal cortex that is composed of three zones or three layers. Uh, the outermost layer which lies beneath the capsule is the zona glomerulosa uh, which secrete mainly aldosterone. The principal mineralocorticoid, uh, the principal mineralocorticoid is the aldosterone and the principal glucocorticoid is the cortisol. So, uh, zona glomerulosa, which is the outer layer of cells, they secrete aldosterone. And then the middle and the widest layer, as you can see, this is called the zona fasciculata. And uh, they secrete cortisol and androgens, little amount of androgens. Uh, and then the third and the inner layer is the zona reticularis, uh, which secrete androgens. Uh, among androgens, dehydro, among androgens, dehydro, epiendosterone and endosteridione are more common. So the inner part is the medulla, as you can see, and the outer part is the cortex. Uh, now the nature of the adenocortical hormones, they are steroid, as uh, their name uh, indicates, because uh, they are called corticosteroids. Why they are called corticosteroids? Because they are derived from the, they are synthesized from the steroid, the steroid which is derived from the cholesterol. Synthesis takes place from the cholesterol, and the 80% of the cholesterol is provided by the low density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein have got uh, increased concentration of cholesterol diffuses from the plasma into the interstitial fluid it goes towards the adrenocortical cell membrane where uh, the special structures which are present which are called coated pits and uh, it binds with the specific receptors on the coated pits and then these pits they undergo endocytosis and when the endocytosis and as a result of endocytosis uh, vesicles are formed uh, which fuse with the lysosomes and then the cholesterol is released as you can see in the diagram this ldl it provides cholesterol for the synthesis of steroid hormones and once the cholesterol it enters the cell uh, it is the transfer to the mitochondria and there is an enzyme present which is called cholesterol desmolase uh, which convert cholesterol to pregnenolone and uh, then the further steps of synthesis they occur in the mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum here uh, the steps of synthesis take place i will tell you about this uh, what are the steps of synthesis first here is another diagram for, from Ganon. as you can see a low density lipoprotein is providing the cholesterol for the synthesis of uh, steroid hormones and uh, this cholesterol it goes towards the mitochondria and the whole process of synthesis that takes place between the mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum and once the steroid hormones are formed it diffuses into the blood here you can see this is the then the mechanism of action that how the hormone acts it hormone it comes it binds with the receptor and then uh, by activating through G protein, it activates the adenyl cyclase, CMP is formed, and then further uh, reactions in the cell take place. But here we are concerned with the synthesis of the steroid hormones. So these are the steps uh, from where the steroid hormones, they are synthesized. And the exact steps are that cholesterol 
it is cleaved by the cholesterol desmolase and pregnenolone is formed and then progesterone is formed and then 11 deoxycorticosterone is formed and then corticosterone and then finally aldosterone is formed aldosterone synthase in a, is an enzyme that causes conversion of corticosterone to aldosterone and similarly again then pregnenolone can convert into 7 hydroxy pregnenolone then 7 hydroxy progesterone then 11 deoxycortisol and then finally cortisol so it is the main mineralocorticoid. Cortisol is the main, aldosterone is the main mineralocorticoid. Cortisol is the main glucocorticoid. And these are androgenidione is the uh, androgenic hormones we have from the adrenal cortex. So moving on to the next slide. These are the list of the hormones, uh, mineralocorticoids, and this, uh, these are the glucocorticoids. So first we know that aldosterone, which has the, uh, which is very potent, almost 90% of mineralocorticoid activity. Then deoxy corticosterone corticosterone and cortisol cortisol has some mineral also some cortisol has also some mineralocorticoid activity then cortisol among glucocorticoids cortisol is the main hormone we have and then corticosterone, cortisone, prednisone, methylprednisone, and dexamethasone. Dexamethasone is a synthetic glucocorticoid. It has zero mineralocorticoid activity, only the it has glucocorticoid activity. Now, how does the transport of adrenocortical hormones occur? 60% of the aldosterone it combines with the plasma proteins. 40% remain in the free form and 90% of cortisol it binds to cortisol binding globulin or transcortin. And how does the metabolism, metabolism that take place in the liver? Adrenocortical hormones, they are degraded in the liver. Adrenocortical hormones, they are degraded in the liver, conjugated especially to the glucuronic acid and sulfates. And about 25% of these conjugates, they are excreted in bile, while the remaining conjugates, they are filtered by the kidney and excreted in urine. Now, this is the mechanism of action of aldosterone. How does the aldosterone act? It is a steroid hormone. So, the receptors, they are present in the cytoplasm. Maybe present in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus. But in this case, the um, this is the MR means mineralocorticoid receptor. So, the hormone comes. It binds with the receptor, a hormone receptor complex is formed. And then uh, this complex goes towards the nucleus. Here the hormone response element is present. In this case, it is the mineralocorticoid response element and it interacts with the mineralocorticoid response element. Messenger RNA is formed. Messenger RNA comes out into the cytoplasm and along with the ribosomes, it causes formation of the protein. Among protein, there are uh, enzymes and the transport proteins. Uh, among enzymes, uh, it, uh, the sodium potassium ATPase pump, uh, which uh, control the uh, concentration of sodium and potassium across the cell membrane. And it is located in the basolateral. This is the basolateral membrane of the renal tubular cell. So it is present in the basolateral membrane of the renal tubular cells. And the second one is the transport protein, which is the epithelial sodium channels. And these are inserted into the luminal membrane of the renal cells. And they cause uh, transport of sodium ions into the cell. So this is the mechanism of action of, uh, so this is all about the mechanism of action of uh, aldosterone. Thank you so much, students.